Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your February 2024 general monthly reading for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. To my returning, my returning viewers, subscribers, and to my newbies, thank you guys for all the love and support. I also want to thank all of you that have booked personal readings and that came out to see me at the last Mystic Market. I really do appreciate everyone's love and support keeping me busy. It just, it was a great turnout and I appreciate each and every one of you. So Cancer, I've been a little bit under the weather since then. I've had a little bit of a cough and so I'm going to make the monthly readings a little bit shorter, but, but I will have a bonus mid-month love reading for you guys. Okay. So stay tuned to that. Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, and double tap that bell to get notified of all the readings. To book a personal reading, the link is in the description box down below. There is a few dates available for this month that are left. I may not reopen anymore until either maybe the end of the month and maybe like mid-March. Just I it depends on my schedule because I, I do have a pretty packed schedule coming up. So here we go. Your major arcana is the temperance card here. So some of you are definitely feeling, I feel like I like the word I heard normally, yes, take things slow, but I heard the words alchemize. Some of you have really been through like the ringer lace lately. Okay. King of cups here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So this could be your energy, obviously, or this is another water sign. You also have Sagittarius energy. Now, the King of Cups and the Temperance card, it's like slow down on certain emotions, but I don't feel like this is slowing down your emotions when it comes to love, but rather slowing down emotional reactions, okay? And use any type of, and I'm going to say this, so I'm calling certain people out, any type of haters that you're dealing with, if you're feeling like psychic attacks, if you're dealing with like people that just don't want to see you happy for whatever reason, oh my God, use that hate, use that jealousy, use that evil eye, the malintentions, all of it, alchemize it, trans transmute it into something else, more money, more admiration, more success, more whatever, fill in the blank you know, do it all. I'm going to tell you firsthand that I unfortunately have had to do the same. Okay. I don't have cancer in my chart, but <laughs> I have had to do the same. And let's just say I'm definitely seeing more money coming in. <laughs> so keep that in mind as you work to alchemize certain energy. You don't have to send it back. You don't have to um, you know, create this type of um, tit for tat with them, whether physically, emotionally, energetically, spiritually, hell no. Just say, okay, I see your hate and I'm going to double down and turn that into success. I see your jealousy and I'm going to double down and see that as more clients. I see your evil eye. I can feel it. I know what your intentions are, and I'm going to double, triple down on that. Watch me grow. Watch me succeed. Watch more money coming in. Okay? So keep that in mind that, yes, you can work with the energy in that way to help you transmute that energy. You are the magician here. You are the high priestess. You are the queen. You are the king. You are the one that gets to decide whether or not this person's negativity, this person's malintentions, this like really bad asshole energy. Sorry for my language, but like five of swords, nine of swords, seven of swords, and 10 of wands. Are you freaking kidding me? Somebody is super jealous of you or your success or listen, I'm going to put it like this point blank because spirit is giving me this example of something that happened to me one, I'll just say at one point in my life where like the, the very existence of you can rub certain people the wrong way because they're not confident in themselves because they have to work 10 times harder to get noticed or whatever, right? And they see it as you not deserving 
what you've built, your success, whatever it is that you have that they want and yet they can't seem to understand why you have it and they don't. But that's exactly why. Because of that type of attitude, right? Like that's exactly why. Like if these people were just given a mirror and told to look towards themselves. Five of swords and seven of swords. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, this is someone up to no good. This is someone who knows exactly, exactly the simplest words, terms, look towards you to just piss you off, to just agitate you. And I hate to say this, Cancer, but they live for that shit. Don't let them live like that in, you know, at your expense, I should say, if they want to live like that towards someone else or because they're so unhappy and miserable with themselves, let them. You're not responsible for them. You're not their healer. You're not their whatever. They will eventually find another target. I feel like I've had this message for you before. But I did the readings out of order this time, out of the usual order that I do. So uh, I don't know. But Cancer, maybe go back to some of the, the readings I've had for you in the past. I feel like I've had this, this energy, this reading for you in the past. Five of Swords, this is winning at all costs. Like to the point where they do not give an F, right? A rat's behind. If they have to cut others down to make themselves look like top notch, the winner. They're very competitive. So if this is in your workplace or in your field of, you know, your industry field, if you're a business owner, they want to disarm you. They may even play little competitive games with you. They want to show off that they're better than you, but they're not. Cancer, they're not. You don't have to react. You don't have to play their game. And you can very easily disarm them by not playing along. Let them find another target. Let them be miserable on their own. You don't need to show them the right way of doing things. Their healing, their bitterness is not your responsibility. Sure, feel bad for them. Sucks to be them. But that's even spending too much time on whatever it is that they're up to because they want to stress you out. Like, again, if this is someone in your workplace and like, say you guys, and, and I don't know, I'm just going to give this example. If you guys work in the same workplace, right, and they know that you're going to be giving a certain task and you need certain tools, supplies, whatever, in order for you to complete that task. They will come in before your shift or when you're not looking and move things around, misplace things, files missing or whatever tools or supplies you may need. And then you're going around scatterbrain, trying to find what you need, trying to stay on task, trying to like not miss deadlines, trying not to get in trouble and still follow through. And they're watching you like a chicken without a head. Do not give them the satisfaction. That's all I'm going to say. Because look, they're watching you. So if you know, if you're going to know something in advance that you have to work on, safeguard your tools, your supplies, everything that you need. Lock things up. Take things home. Do what you got to do. Come to work prepared. Don't let them win. I'm just going to say that. Don't let them win. If this is in a family or friendship circle, like outside of work, I feel like you do have a little bit of a um, negative Nancy. I'll just be nice about it. A little bit of negative Nancy around you. You're doing what you love doing. You're feeling, I'm hearing, you're feeling like you're in a good place at a good, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it like at a good pace is how I'm seeing it. You're taking your time, you're learning new things, you are bringing new new things to the table for many people. However, I just feel like there is someone here who is not as supportive as you'd like them to be. Don't don't bend over backwards to get someone's approval. I feel like I'm 
I, I, I don't like being like this sometimes. I'm going to admit, sometimes, okay? <laughs> but I feel like this is an opportunity for you to really empower yourself and not let this type of energy affect you, not let someone's opinions or projections cause any type of disruption in your life. Boom, eight of wands. Move out of that energy as quickly as possible. Queen of Pentacles in the full card. Thank you very much. You definitely have a brand new opportunity to grow. Grow your money, grow your success. Especially if this is towards communication, manifestation, things of that nature. I do feel like this is an opportunity to, for you to showcase your gifts, skills, abilities, your talents how you work well under pressure, how you could still bring results with half your shit missing is how I'm hearing it, okay? Don't, don't let them win. I'm just going to keep saying that. Don't let them win. New opportunities are coming for you, unfolding for you. Tell me more about this new opportunity for cancer. Nine of Wands. You've gotten, you've put yourself through so much that you have gotten to this point. I'm not going to say you purposely did this, but you know, like you've gone through so much that you've gotten to this point where you're like, when do I see success? When do I rise above this now? Now, now, see the emperor now is when you rise above this. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I'm here for it. Cancer, listen. This type of BS energy you've had to endure for quite some time, whether that's past or in your current moment, you know, you're like, listen, I'm still going to get up, dust myself off, and I'm going to do the best that I can. I know that healing is what's going to bring in more clarity, more opportunity to alchemize, alchemize, transmute that energy. You are the magician. You are the person here that's going to continuously be consistent regardless of the BS around them. And it's time for you to take back control of your life. The Fool card here is brand new opportunities. You are definitely going to be like I'm hearing like the leader of the pack here. Like you may even get a promotion or like some sort of lead role in charge of other people where it's like, oh, you made me, you try to make me look bad, but you made me look so good in the process that I got promoted. I'm hearing someone be like, chew on that, right? Yeah, five of wands, five of wands, five of swords, seven of swords. These are like competition, jerky energy, people knowing exactly what they're saying or doing is purposely hurting you. They do that shit on purpose to cause what? Anxiety, sleepless nights, worries, second guessing yourself, you know, imposter syndrome, complete, complete stress of the whole situation here. Let's, I'm just, I'm just seeing like, you're definitely going to rise above all this BS. Let's see what your wisdom of the Oracle card says for you guys as we close this out. I said I was going to make these really short for the month because I wanted to make sure I got through all the signs. I don't, I absolutely do not like having to, you know, pause my reading, have a coughing fit, re, you know, start recording all over again or have to like cut and edit when that happens. So I'm just making these a little bit shorter to get through all the zodiac signs here and look at the card that flew out regeneration absolutely freaking lutely listen regardless of what they try to throw your way you will rise above this is the reason the phoenix rising from the ashes this is like the death card the tower card this is rebirth this is absolutely keep go ahead go try me i will win i will rise above I love that for you. Okay, Cancer, just know things will get better even if you've got to deal with that kind of, you know, yucky energy around you at this time or if you're coming out of dealing with that kind of funky energy. It's no good, but, you know, too bad, so sad for them. 
remind yourself that you are worthy and you will rise above it all. I will see you guys soon. Remember, I will have a mid-month love bonus reading for all my signs. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys give this a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And double tap that bell to get notified of all the readings because your mid-month is coming up next. Your playlist is here. Whatever other reading I have for you is here. And the link to book is in the description box down below. And you can find me over on Instagram at Virgo Angel Tarot for additional content. Love you guys so much. Take care. Bye.